<laughs> I didn't like that, huh? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> but you guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> I grew up traveling in the backseat of my family's wood paneled station wagon. Getting lost fills my soul. It's who I am. It's embedded in my DNA. I'm on a mission to explore and experience every country on the planet, visiting the craziest, most unique places and people in every corner of the world. I'm Jim Kitchen. Join the journey. Today, I'm in Chad, one of the world's poorest countries with 50% of the population living below the world's poverty line. Now, most people survive here by subsistence farming, selling fruits and vegetables on the side of the road or at the local market. And the name Chad in the local language actually means lake. And the country was given this name by the French by mistake as they didn't know what the word Chad meant because this place is anything but a lake. In fact, it's a desert or semi-desert. And today it's a mildish 110, 111 degrees. Now, as far back as 700 BC, people moved to the Chad Basin. And like Cameroon, this is a melting pot of cultures with over 200 different ethnic groups. Now, currently I'm in Gawi in the western, southwestern part of Chad, a small village that hosts the Sultan of the Sao people who allegedly, according to local folklore, were giants, like my friend Madi. And the women here are expert pottery makers. They make these enormous pots to store water during the dry season. So they get the rain during the rainy season and they store it for the dry season. And they're also excellent artists and they will paint this with pigment, geographical shapes on the houses in order to uh, make them more ornate and beautiful. And these are my friends, the children of Gowie. <laughs> the Republic of Chad is one of Africa's most troubled nations. Political conflict and violence are frequent occurrences here. And this is one of the world's poorest countries, ranking 186 out of 189 countries. Now, Chad is landlocked. Cameroon and Central, Africa, uh, Central African Republic are to our south. Nigeria and Niger are to the west. Libya is due north. Sudan and South Sudan are to our east. Now, about 100 kilometers here, 60 miles, is Lake Chad, which used to be the size of New Jersey, but due to climate change, it has shrunk by 95%. Yes, 95%. So in Chad, you have extreme poverty, extreme heat. Today, it's a 111, 112 degrees and the disappearance of most of the water in Lake Chad, the disappearance of all the arable land around what used to be this massive life-sustaining lake. And all of the food that used to come from this region has also disappeared. And to make matters even worse, the terrorist group Boko Haram is causing trouble all throughout this region here in Nigeria. Now, add all of this up, what do you get? I'll tell you what you get. You get a humanitarian crisis where 11 million people just 60 miles from here are in desperate need of humanitarian aid. You can see this uh, refugee camp behind me. It's one of the many in this area. And according to the UN, most of the people living here are living, quote, on the edge, surviving if they can on just one meal per day. I was able to sit down with a family and use these beads to polish some of their beautiful rain pots. We had a great time doing this. Take a listen. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep exploring and learning about the rest of the world. Join the journey.